what up youtube welcome back to the channel if you are new to the channel and you receive any value while watching any of our videos please reciprocate that value by at least liking the video you guys know how this ecosystem works and if you think we delivered some key info or insight that you didn't already know then go ahead and subscribe if you want to see some of our older videos that are too hot for YouTube, click the link in the description box below. Without further delay, let's get started. All right, guys, in today's video, we're going to be discussing some of the topics that Tech Doctor UK pointed out in his video about dangerous cinema HD forks out there. Yes, guys, you heard that correctly. There are new versions of cinema that may include malware viruses. Let's jump right into the video. Video. What I was worried about the most was people are now going to use the name. They're going to create copies of the application, maybe add in some changes, but more worryingly, add in malicious content. And over the last uh, 20 minutes or so, I've been browsing some websites which are now claiming to host Cinema HD Pro Edition or Cinema HD Plus Edition. And you can just see guys from my antivirus, those uh, websites are not trustworthy. Those applications are not safe. And I would definitely not want to put them on my device. Okay, I must say right off the bat that people are willing to go through all of this just for the rare chance that they will be able to exploit your device. You know what? Let's get creative here and explore some options. Let's put our tinfoil hats on for a second. So my first question is, who? Who's going through all this trouble? Who would benefit from these malicious apps and activities? Here's my groups of suspects and perpetrators. Number one is going to be the individual or individuals who deployed those malware viruses in 2018 that used tens of thousands of devices to mine cryptocurrencies. I believe the cryptocurrency that was being mined is a very popular one. It says, what is Monero? New cryptocurrency is being mined by malware on Android. Some experts suspect that the hackers deploying this malware uses it because it's more untraceable than Bitcoin. So here's an article that talks about how this malware was specifically used on fire sticks the headline reads cryptocurrency mining malware strikes fire tv sticks the malware has targeted thousands of vulnerable android devices with a special developer feature activated like amazon fire tv products siloated with sketchy apps it says is your amazon fire tv stick secretly mining cryptocurrency a hacker has reportedly unleashed Android malware that's been warming its way across thousands of vulnerable streaming devices, all in an attempt to generate a virtual currency called Monero. The malware called ADB Miner has been spreading thanks to a powerful developer feature found on the Android operating system that's supposed to be turned off. The feature, Android Debug Bridge, can let a developer communicate and remotely execute commands over the device without any authentication. So far, Amazon hasn't commented on the threat. Normally, the debug feature runs dormant, but on Monday, AFTV News reported that the malware has been spreading to Fire TV sticks with the developer feature turned on. Affected devices will display an app called, quote, test, that'll persistently pop up as a white page and interrupt your media streaming as it starts to mine the virtual cryptocurrency. Users in an Android developer's forum began posting about the problems in April and realized the app was actually ADB Miner. However, it doesn't appear that all Fire TV sticks are vulnerable. The problem occurs when sideloading sketchy apps, which can activate the Android debug bridge feature. According to UK-based security researcher Kevin Beaumont, Amazon TV devices that have been modified to ship with Kodi, an open source media player, are among those affected. Making matters worse is that products that have been infected will also attempt to spread the malicious code to other devices. ADB Miner isn't specifically targeting Fire TV sticks, but any Android device with the debug feature enabled. 
In February, Chinese security firm, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, 360's NetLab noticed the malware was scanning the internet for vulnerable products, including Android devices and smartphones. In just a few days, it managed to infect several thousand gadgets, mainly in China and South Korea. As for why, Beaumont speculates that some vendors have been accidentally shipping products with the Android debug bridge turned on. Quote, this is highly problematic as it allows anybody without any password to remotely access these devices as root, the administrator mode, and then silently install software and execute malicious functions. He wrote in a blog post detailing the threat. For now, only the ADB minor malware appears to be exploiting the misconfigured Android devices. In this case, the malicious code only mines a cryptocurrency, which will merely hog the product's CPU processing power. Between 10,000 to over 100,000 devices may have been infected with ADB minor, according to security researchers. To remove the malware on a Fire TV stick, initiate a factory reset, which can be accessed in the settings menu. That should clear the infection, but once the reset is finished, you'll need to make sure the Android debug bridge is turned off to prevent possible reinfection. AFTV News has a longer guide. For owners of other affected Android devices, disabling the debug feature and then deleting the test app should be able to clear the infection. Certain Android antivirus solutions can also detect and disinfect the malicious code. All right, that's the end of that article. So I wanted to read that article to lend some support towards my speculation. But as this article lays out, there's a clear history and proven track record for what these malware viruses are capable of. So now let's get Amazon's response to this malware problem. The headline reads, Amazon Fire TV security patch stops crypto miners from hacking your set top box. Earlier this year, Older Amazon Fire TV models were overtaken by a malicious worm that spread from between devices using the set-top box's ADB Android debug bridge connection. Today, Amazon has released a patch that will plug the hole in the vulnerability and stop the infection in its tracks. The software update, version 5.2.6.6, is now available for Amazon Fire TV, Amazon Fire TV Stick, and Amazon Fire TV Edition televisions and it'll disable ADB by default. It'll also prompt users every time a device wants to install a new piece of software on their device. In the past, once you approved one ADB connection, any device could then connect to your Fire TV and install some code without asking. The offending exploit from February helped spread a pretty vicious malware worm called ADB Miner, and the unchecked vulnerability of Amazon Fire TVs was used to mine cryptocurrency. This caused massive slowdowns on infected devices, leading to long install times and abrupt crashing in the middle of stream content. The silver lining in all this is that newer devices like the Amazon Fire TV Cube and latest version of the Amazon Fire TV weren't impacted by the malware as the protocol of asking before installing any software was built in from the start. So why have ADB in the first place? This all raises the question, if ADB is such a vulnerability, why even allow it to exist on Amazon Fire TV devices? The answer is that ADB gives users some customizability options for their Fire TV, allowing you to install apps that aren't available on the Amazon's limited Fire TV store called sideloading. Sideloading is most often used by the Kodi slash XBMC crowd to install the app on the Fire TV creating an even more robust streaming device that can stream local video content as well as content from traditional sources like Netflix and Amazon Video. Now that the ADB vulnerability is fixed, you'll be prompted before any additional software is installed on the device, quashing bugs like ADB Miner in its tracks. So it seems Amazon was able to put a stop to this back in 2018, but as we all know, these hackers, they always find a new exploit, which leads me back to my original question, who's doing this and how do they benefit? And like I said before, usually you just follow the money. And back in 2018, the money was Monero cryptocurrency. So what can we do? Well, right off the bat, just make sure that ADB debugging thing is turned off. The other thing, it might be time to factory reset some of your devices. If your device has been really slow, experiencing a lot of buffering, or just not performing like it used to, it might be time to just factory reset the device. One of the other things we can do 
is scan these APKs with virus total. Tech Doctor UK is gonna walk you through this process later on in the video. The easiest way to do it is to do it on a computer. Now I have two other suspect types who might be up to this exploitation. So number two would be underpaid developers from past streaming apps that failed, that didn't really catch on. I don't know, I'm just speculating here. And number three would be the craziest plot twist ever. If this was perpetrated by the movie industry so that they can create a negative experience for users with these type of APKs, or maybe so they can track users across the web or put them in a database. Once again, this is just speculation. So don't come after me now. All right, that brings the tin foil hat portion of the show to an end. Let's get back to the video. So the first one we see here is the Cinema HD Plus and the trouble is anybody can just submit up a website, they can register for a domain name and start hosting applications. Now, unless you're scanning these applications yourself, there's no way for you to verify their authenticity and also more importantly, how trustworthy they are. Now, I personally would not trust any of these websites because I don't know who the owner is. I don't know what the intentions are. If you are going to download from any of these websites, which are not from your trustworthy YouTubers, I would definitely recommend opening up VirusTotal, which you can just do by searching for VirusTotal. Click on that link there. Now, once you do get the application onto your device, you can then drag that across into this window here, which I'll quickly demonstrate. You drag it in here. This will do a quick scan. And ideally you're looking for everything to be green. And this just means that the application has gone through all of those different virus engines and it doesn't contain anything malicious. Now, if you do see one warning or maybe two, then that's really up to you if you want to take that risk on your device. Okay, so he mentions it's up to you to still install APKs that have only one bad score on the scan. But we are going to err on the side of caution and not install any APKs that have any potential viruses, meaning we will only install APKs that score a zero on the virus total scan to scanning these apps regularly. We never know if someone made a mistake or forgot to do it, but and it's a very big but because we are putting our reputation on the line. We will include a link in the description box below that will include a list of all the apps to avoid and which ones we have scanned and are safe to use. We would have given you that list here on YouTube in the past, but the rate at which the rules change on this platform retroactively, we just can't take that risk. This is important because the original Cinema HD app is coming to a halt. As you can see, you are starting to get less and less links, less and less subtitle sources. And the only way to truly extend the life of the app is to use Realdebrid. And if you want to know about Realdebrid, that link is in the video description box below. If you have any suggestions on how we can better protect ourselves online, share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video. If you think we've earned it, of course, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share the video. If you appreciate what we do here, that does it for us. And we'll see you in the next video.